Greetings and welcome to this segment of From My Notepads. I'd like to take a few moments to talk about a topic that has been front and center in the public press. And that topic is the opioid epidemic that is gripping our region. I'd like to share two numbers with you, numbers that provide a context for this challenge. The first number is 29,000. There are more than 29,000 individuals in our service region who are either addicted to opioids or who are abusing prescription drugs. The second number is 150. That is the number of children who have been born and are suffering from neonatal abstinence syndrome at the Nicewanger Children's Hospital in this year alone. 150 babies are going through withdrawal this year alone, and it's only July. Ladies and gentlemen, the issue of prescription drug abuse is all around us. It's on this campus, it's in our homes, it's in our churches, it's across this community. And I feel it's the responsibility of the institution to respond. I wanna talk a little bit about our response and what makes our response unique. Two and a half years ago, Dr. Rob Pack and a team of colleagues from the College of Public Health, the College of Pharmacy, and the College of Medicine sat in my office and talked about their dream to create a Center for Prescription Drug Abuse, Prevention, Treatment, and Outreach. From that conversation, from that dream, yielded a center of excellence here on our campus as the Tennessee Board of Regents approved that center in the spring of 2016. Since its approval, we've worked in coordination with our colleagues at Mountain States to bring together a small part of the solution to this epidemic that is gripping our region. That solution is to create a holistic treatment center for prevention, treatment, outreach, and education that would bring together the resources of Mountain States, the resources of our faculty, and the research that they would bring to bear to create solutions to this epidemic. We have gone through a public hearing process related to our proposed location in Gray, a public hearing process that has generated a significant amount of questions about our university. I apologize if many of you feel that I've drugged the university through the mud, but that is not my intention. My intention is to meet the public service obligations that we've had as a university since our founding in 1911. Over the course of our history, we have responded to calls from the community to meet community needs. Sixty years ago, when there was a nursing shortage and the health care of the region was suffering, we created a college of nursing that has now evolved into the largest college of nursing in the state of Tennessee. More than 40 years ago, when our region faced shortages in physicians and our health and the care of our loved ones was suffering, we stepped forward despite vehement opposition from Nashville to create the Quillen College of Medicine. And more than a decade ago, as we were facing shortages for pharmacists, once again, we stepped forward, answered the public call through the creation of the Gatton College of Pharmacy. That's what we do. When this region has a need, when the people of our region are suffering, we as a university respond, because that's part of our mission. We were formed in 1911 for a singular purpose, to improve the quality of life for the people of this region. And that's what we're attempting to do here. If you have questions or concerns about what we're doing, or if you want to learn more about this epidemic, please feel free to send me an email. My email address is president at etsu.edu. I've said for years, our goal is to be open, transparent, and inclusive, and we're attempting to be open as we move through this process. But I assure you that we will not back down from our public service mission, and we will do everything within our abilities as a faculty, as a staff, and as an ETSU family to help to bring solutions to this public health epidemic facing our region. Thank you for your commitment to this institution. Thank you for being part of a university that cares. Godspeed to each of you, and good luck.